ISS, the International Space Station, a convergence of science, technology, and human innovation that demonstrates new technologies and makes research breakthroughs on Earth. A bright example of outstanding and extraordinary human capabilities, Today, we are on a journey of the engineering marvel which travels 10 times faster than a bullet, more than 400 kilometers above our heads. So, tighten your seatbelts, let's start our inspiring journey of the glorious International Space Station. It's not just a story, it is the story of International Space Station. The International Space Station is a modular space station in low Earth orbit. It is a multinational collaborative project involving five participating space agencies, NASA, United States, Roscosmos Russia, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency Japan, European Space Agency, Europe, and Canadian Space Agency, Canada. The International Space Station program is tied together by a complex set of legal, political and financial agreements between the 16 nations involved in the project, governing ownership of the various components, rights to crewing and utilization, and responsibilities for crew rotation and resupply of the ISS. These agreements tie together the five space agencies and their respective International Space Station programs and govern how they interact with each other on a daily basis to maintain station operations, from traffic control of spacecraft to and from the station to utilization of space and crew time. The craft lies on around 400 km high orbit, with an orbital speed of 27,600 km per hour and 92.68 minutes of orbital period. It completes around 15.54 orbits per day. The mass of station is around 419,725 kg or 925,335 pounds. It maintains an atmospheric pressure of 101.3 kPa or 1 mu, and this atmosphere comprises of 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. It is 73 meters in length and 109 meters wide. So amazing! Now let's look at some of the major modules that combinedly build the station. Zarya, also known as the Functional Cargo Blocker FGB, is the first module of the International Space Station to have been launched. The FGB provided electrical power, storage, propulsion, and guidance to the ISS during the initial stage of assembly. With the launch and assembly in orbit of other modules with more specialized functionality, Zarya is now primarily used for storage, both inside the pressurized section and in the externally mounted fuel tanks. Zarya was launched on 20 November 1998 on a Russian proton rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome Site 81 in Kazakhstan to a 400 km or 250 miles high orbit, with a design lifetime of at least 15 years. After Zarya reached orbit, STS-88 launched on 4 December 1998 to attach the Unity module. The Unity Connecting Module, also known as Node-1, is the first U.S.-built component of the International Space Station. It connects the Russian and United States segments of the station and is where crew eat meals together. The module is cylindrical in shape, with six berthing locations facilitating connections to other modules. Unity was carried into orbit as the primary cargo of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-88, the first Space Shuttle mission dedicated to assembly of the station. On 6 December 1998, the STS-88 crew mated the aft berthing port of Unity with the forward hatch of the already orbiting Zarya module. This was the first connection made between two station modules. The pressurized mating adapter PMA, is a class of spacecraft adapters that convert the common berthing mechanism CBM, used on the U.S. orbital segment to APAS-95 docking ports. There are three PMAs located on the ISS, the first two were launched with the Unity Connecting Module in 1998 aboard STS-88, and the third was launched in 2000 aboard STS-92. The three PMAs are identical, but they have slightly different uses. All three perform the same basic function of connecting a CBM port of an ISS module to an APAS-95 docking port of another modular visiting spacecraft. For this purpose, the PMAs carry a passive CBM port and a passive APAS port. The PMAs are pressurized and heated from the inside, and they allow for power and data communications transfer through docking rings and external connections. Zvezda, also known as the Zvezda Service Module, is a module of the ISS. It was the third module launched to the station and provides all of the station's life support systems, some of which are supplemented in the USOs, as well as living quarters for two crew members. 
It is the structural and functional center of the Russian orbital segment. Crew assemble here to deal with emergencies on the station. Zvezda consists of the cylindrical work compartment, where the crews work and live, the small spherical transfer compartment located at the front, and at the aft end the cylindrical transfer chamber, which is surrounded by the unpressurized assembly compartment. This gives Zvezda four docking ports in total. The integrated truss structure of the ISS consists of a linear arranged sequence of connected trusses on which various unpressurized components are mounted, such as logistics carriers, radiators, solar arrays, and other equipment. It supplies the ISS with a bus architecture. It is approximately 110 meters long and is made from aluminum and stainless steel. All truss components were named after their planned end positions. Z for zenith, S for starboard and P for port, with the number indicating the sequential position. The Destiny module, also known as the U.S. Lab, is the primary operating facility for U.S. research payloads aboard the ISS. It was birthed to the Unity module and activated over a period of five days in February 2001. Destiny is NASA's first permanent operating orbital research station since Skylab was vacated in February 1974. It was launched ISS aboard the Space Shuttle Mission STS-98 on February 7, 2001, aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Astronauts work inside the pressurized facility to conduct research in numerous scientific fields. Scientists throughout the world would use the results to enhance their studies in medicine, engineering, biotechnology, physics, materials science, and earth science. The Quest Joint Airlock, previously known as the Joint Airlock Module, is the primary airlock for the ISS. Quest was designed to host spacewalks with both Extravehicular Mobility Unit EMU, spacesuits and Orlin spacesuits. The airlock was launched on STS-104 on July 14, 2001. The Quest Airlock consists of two segments, the equipment lock that stores spacesuits and equipment, and the crew lock, from which astronauts can exit into space. Quest was necessary because American suits will not fit through Russian airlock hatch and have different components, fittings, and connections. Quest provides an environment where astronauts can camp out before a spacewalk in a reduced nitrogen atmosphere to purge nitrogen from their bloodstream and avoid decompression sickness in the low-pressure pure oxygen atmosphere of the spacesuit. Gers is a Russian module on the ISS. It was launched on 14 September 2001 and is located on the Zvezda module of the station. It provides the IS with one docking port for Soyuz and Progress spacecraft and allows egress and ingress for spacewalks by cosmonauts using Russian Orlin spacesuits. PERS was originally scheduled to be detached from the Nader port of the Zvezda module in 2013 to make room for the Russian multipurpose laboratory module NAKA. This has been delayed first to 2017 and then to 2018, due to a series of launch failures with the Proton rocket, leading to delays in the launch, PERS could become the first permanent ISS module to be decommissioned, and would be destroyed during atmospheric re-entry. Harmony, also known as Node 2, is the utility hub of the ISS, it connects the laboratory modules of the United States, Europe, and Japan, as well as providing electrical power and electronic data. Sleeping cabins for four of the crew are housed here. Harmony is the second of three node modules on the USOs. Harmony was the first permanent living space enlargement to the ISS after the PERS docking compartment was added in 2001. On October 26, the station space station remote manipulator system removed Harmony from the shuttle cargo bay and temporarily made it to the port side of Unity, and on October 27, the crew entered Harmony. Columbus is a science laboratory that is part of the ISS and is the largest single contribution to the ISS made by the European Space Agency. In November 2007, Columbus was moved out of the KSC Space Station Processing Facility and installed into the payload bay of the Atlantis Orbiter for launch on Assembly Flight 1E. Columbus was finally launched successfully on the third attempt on February 7, 2008. Once at the station, Canadarm2 removed Columbus from the dock shuttle's cargo bay and attached it to the starboard hatch of Harmony, with the cylinder pointing outwards on February 11, 2008. Activities in the lab are controlled on the ground by the Columbus Control Center and by the associated user support operations centers throughout Europe. The Japanese experiment module, GEM, nicknamed Kibo, is a Japanese science module for the ISS developed by JAXA. It is the largest single ISS module and is attached to the Harmony module. 
The first two pieces of the module were launched on Space Shuttle missions STS-123 and STS-124. The third and final components were launched on STS-127. The exposed facility, also known as Terrace, is located outside the port cone of the PM, it helps to do all experiment payloads in fully exposed space environment. It also had the GEM remote manipulator system which is a 10 meters robotic arm, mounted at the port cone of the PM. It is used for servicing the F and for moving equipment to and from the ELM. POISC, also known as the Mini Research Module 2, is a docking module of the International Space Station. Its original name was Docking Module 2, as it is almost identical to the PERS docking compartment. Added in 2009, POISC was the first major Russian addition to the International Space Station since 2001. POISC is overall the same design as a docking module PERS. Whereas PERS has been attached to the nadir port of Zvezda module, POISC is attached to the zenith, PERS is closer to the Earth with the ISS in its usual orientation, and POISC is on the other side, POISC docked to the zenith port of the Zvezda module on November 12, 2009, and will serve as a docking port for Soyuz and Progress spacecraft, and as an airlock for spacewalks. Tranquility, also known as Node 3, is a module of the ISS. It contains environmental control systems, life support systems, a toilet, exercise equipment, and an observation cupola. The European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency had Tranquility manufactured by Thales Alenia Space. A ceremony on November 20, 2009, transferred ownership of the module to NASA. On February 8, 2010, NASA launched the module on the Space Shuttle's STS-130 mission. The cupola is an ESA-built observatory module of the ISS. Its name derives from the Italian word cupola, which means dome. Its seven windows are used to conduct experiments, dockings and observations of Earth. It was launched aboard Space Shuttle mission STS-130 on 8 February 2010, and attached to the Tranquility module. With the cupola attached, ISS assembly reached 85% completion. The cupola's central window has a diameter of 80 centimeters. The cupola provides an observation and work area for the ISS crew, giving visibility to support the control of the space station remote manipulator system, and general external viewing of Earth, celestial objects and visiting vehicles. RASVIT, also known as the Mini Research Module 1, and formerly known as the Docking Cargo Module, is a component of the ISS. The module's design is similar to the Mirror Docking Module launched on STS-74 in 1995. RASVIT is primarily used for cargo storage and as a docking port for visiting spacecraft. It was flown to the ISS aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis on the STS-132 mission on 14 May 2010, and was connected to the ISS on 18 May 2010. The hatch connecting RASVIT with the ISS was first opened on 20 May 2010. On 28 June 2010, the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft performed the first docking with the module. The Leonardo Permanent Multipurpose Module is a module of the International Space Station. It was flown into space aboard the Space Shuttle on STS-133 on 24 February 2011, and installed on 1 March. Leonardo is primarily used for storage of spares, supplies and waste on the ISS, which was until then stored in many different places within the space station. It is also the personal hygiene area for the astronauts who live in the U.S. orbital segment. The Leonardo PMM was a multi-purpose logistics module before 2011, but was modified into its current configuration. It was formerly one of two MPLM used for bringing cargo to and from the ISS with the space shuttle. The module was named for Italian polymath Leonardo da Vinci. The Bigelow Expandable Activity Module Beam, is an experimental expandable space station module developed by Bigelow Aerospace, under contract to NASA, for testing as a temporary module on the International Space Station from 2016 to at least 2020. It arrived at the ISS on April 10, 2016, was berthed to the station on April 16, and was expanded and pressurized on May 28, 2016. In early 2015, BEAM was scheduled for deployment on the next available ISS transport vehicle, SpaceX CRS-8, which was scheduled for launch in September 2015. Due to a rocket failure during the SpaceX CRS-7 launch in June 2015, the delivery of BEAM was delayed. The successful launch of SpaceX CRS-8 took place on April 8, 2016, and the Dragon cargo vehicle was berthed to the nadir port of Harmony node.
So here, we created a similar replica of the gigantic International Space Station in a game known as Simple Rockets 2. We are not going to launch each part separately, but it dynamically compacted the whole structure and will launch it to orbit, and then unfold it to the original position. Let's start with showing with a great time lapse of how we made it.
Thank you.